This is how Beijing looked last week, choking pollution, reducing visibility to just a couple of city blocks. The foul air caused flight delays and sent air quality readings at the United States Embassy from hazardous to off the end of its index. Beijing's Environmental Protection Bureau, however, reported pollution as light. This disparity has driven some Beijing citizens to take air quality monitoring into their own hands. Green Beagle is distributing devices to residents and encouraging them to post the data online. We wish environmental authorities would handle the information in a more honest way. We wish they could present us with the real data which reflects the true situation of air quality. Part of the reason for the disparity is that the government only measures for coarse pollution particles of 10 microns and above. Green Beagle and the U.S. Embassy measure finer particles of 2.5 microns, one-thirtieth the thickness of a human hair. Then there's the weather. Things could get worse this week as a slow-moving high-pressure system passes over Beijing. It may create what's known as an inversion layer of warm air trapped beneath cool air, effectively placing a lid over the city, trapping the pollution. It's a pollution problem Beijing's grappled with for decades. Air pollution has always been bad. There's no question that people are far less willing to put up with it today than they were 20 years ago. It's one of those things where as people get wealthier, they start to say, wait a minute, having a job isn't enough. I also want a comfortable way of life. Beijing citizen green police are trying to do just that. Collecting the data is one thing. The next step, imposing tighter environmental controls on the engine of economic growth, will be another thing entirely. Paul Allen, Bloomberg.